a crime scene, a suspect, and an alibi. All the ingredients of a great murder mystery. And no one does it better than Sleuth's Dinner Mystery Theater. Recently, I tried my hand at a little detective work, and Ginger was found guilty of a crime. Or was she? People all over Central Florida are dying to find out what goes on on this stage, and who done it is anybody's guess. So if you have an appetite for murder, or the inner sleuth is dying to come out, then this is where you need to be. <gasps> we have to make sure he never does anything like this to anyone ever again. We need to hit him where it hurts. Oh yeah, I'll hit him where it hurts. We need to destroy him. This is the only place in Orlando where a murder is committed 365 days a year. No fingerprints, no nothing. It's awesome. We got it in with the Orange County Sheriff's Department, so it's okay. Jim Lyons is proud of the crimes that happen here at Sleuth's Dinner Mystery Shows, but he says, don't worry, it's all child's play. You let them know if they see me, don't look me in the eyes. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Come here. Let's say female. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Under the age of 18. I mean, 25. Wait, what did the lawyer say? Never mind, just go. It's a comedy murder mystery show where actually it's a living game of Clue, where you actually come in, witness the play on stage, and then somebody is murdered. You have to try to figure it out who it is, be that Sherlock, that Watson, that detective that we all want to be at times, you know, when we're not supposed to be. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. Sleuths is a self-proclaimed mom-and-pop business located on International Drive. For 20 years, it's been entertaining and intriguing guests nightly. It's the perfect evening for people who are um, tourists and they're in the, the realm of the theme parks and they're looking for uh, something different, something that's not uh, cookie cutter, something that's not... Disney? Um, <laughs> I'm not saying any names because... Uh, <laughs> Cer certain theme parks have been very, very good to me. We have 13 different mysteries that we perform, so we have a different one every night of the week. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice when you come in and I've already seen. Well, have you seen this show? Have you seen that one? So when they call to make their reservations, we ask them how they heard about us for marketing reasons, of course, and also to kind of, you know, give accolades and kind of benefit our, our bimbifors and, you know, and I think that has sustained us more than anything. Um, but being right here, right here on the strip is, is unbelievable. And we get a lot of drive-bys. They will actually drive by, see our sign, and then they call. Because when they actually make the reservation, we ask how they heard about us, like I said before. You know, whether it be in the forest, brochures, and there's a, quite a lot of people that actually, oh, I drove by and saw your sign. Perfect. But it's not just the mystery show that keeps some repeat offenders coming back for more. Yeah. And he says, what did you do that for? And she said, that is for 50 years of bad sex. <laughs> it's Friday nights we have Mamas, and it's a, it's a comedy troupe. And it's almost like, whose line is it anyway? And um, every Friday night we do that. And then Saturday night we have uh, stand-up comedians who actually come in in the area. Three to four comedians all start at 10 o'clock and run till about um, midnight. <laughs> Why are you coming up behind me? <laughs> from being on cops? Do you want to touch me? <laughs> Would you like me to touch you? Why do you have your nose in front of your face? Where did your father touch you? Where are you <laughs> Mama's comedy show. Oh, that's a blast. Um, it, is, it is an improv show uh, where anything goes. Uh, the audience, wherever the audience wants to go, that's where we're going to go. Uh, if we go squeaky clean, then that's where we go. If the audience is dirty, well, then we got to go there, too. It's just a blast. We have so much fun with that show. The talented cast of actors perform and transform into characters that begin to weave a web of deception that leads straight to murder. <laughs> My new show is going to be the fusion of the best in talk radio. So listen for my disco cooking segment, Beat With Your Meat. <laughs> In this show, actor David Alameda's character is Dolly. 
Dolly is a is a woman who's a little damaged, and uh, she she's got issues. She's got issues, and uh, you'll you'll see those. <laughs> um, she used to be a big radio star, and um, she unfortunately had an accident that was instigated by her assistant Tipton. And while she was away recuperating from this accident, this it was actually a radio stunt. While she was away recuperating, not only did Tipton end their romantic relationship, but he also had managed to finagle taking over her spot on the radio. It's certainly been a long time. Hey, what's ten years in a coma between friends? Uh, funny you should bring that up, because I had sort of thought you might come and visit me in the hospital, you know, since you were the one who put me there. Hey, hey, that is not true. I did not put you there. Technically, the lions put you in the oh, hospital. Oh, that's right. I put you in front of the lions, that's all. And actor Ollie Flores is tipped in. I play a radio disc jockey who is um, not a well-liked character. Um, he's it's kind of like a Howard Stern, but more edgy. You mean you're going to actually take responsibility for all the trouble that you've caused here? <laughs> oh, God, no, no. What, are you kidding me? No, I feel sorry for you and this podunk, pathetic little radio station of yours. I mean, seriously. Yes, you guessed it. Tipton bites the dust. So who's guilty of murdering Tipton? Is it Dolly? Helen? Bill? Or Ginger? If you think you have the clue, you have to come to Sleuths to find out if you're right. When you come to Sleuths, what you, what you should expect is to have a really good time. So you come up with these fun things, and then hopefully, with, throughout that interrogation, you get enough clues, and you can solve the mystery. And you know what? Even if you don't solve the mystery, you still had a good time. really was a lot of fun. The suspense and the comedy keeps you laughing and guessing. Well, no mystery here. That does it for this edition of Downtown Orange County. I'm Cecily Wilson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.